Hello students, let's do percent and percentage exercise 9C. Page number 116, we are with question 5. The price of a car is lowered by 20% to 40,000 rupees. Lowered means reduced or decreased to 40,000 rupees. So what was the original price? So the price of the car was something else in the beginning. But it was lowered by 20% and now the reduced price is 40,000 rupees. So the question is, what was the original price? What was the price in the beginning? Also, find the reduction in price. Now, reduction in price is given to us as 20% of the original. So we have to find that also. So let the original price of the car be X. We don't know what it is, so we're going to write it as X. So this is the original price. And this is the reduced price. So in the beginning it was X. After the price was lowered, now the reduced price is 40,000 rupees. And what is the reduction in price? It's 20%. The reduction in price is 20% of X. X is the original price. So this will be 20% means 20 by 100 offers into X. Now let's cancel. I can cancel the zeros. I can cancel 2 and 10. 2 ones are 2 and 2 fives are 10. Now multiply the numerators. So here in the numerator I have 1 into x is x. In the denominator I have 5. So x by 5 is the reduction in price. Now if I take the original price of the car and I subtract the reduction in price from it, I will get the reduced price. So let's do that part. That is the original price minus the reduction in price. So let's write that. The original price is x. Reduction in price is x by 5. This should give me the reduced price. And what is that? 40,000 rupees. The reduced price is 40,000 rupees. So now we have to calculate x minus x minus 5. So let's do that here. So x minus x by 5. So here let's give this a denominator 1. The LCM will be 5. So the first fraction 1 into 5 is 5. So x into 5 will be 5x minus the second fraction denominator is 5. 5 ones are 5. So x into 1 is x. So this is x. Now 5x minus x. This will be 1x. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4x by 5. So here we have 4x by 5 is equal to 40,000 rupees. Now we're going to solve for x. We're going to find the value of x. So let's leave 4x on the left hand side as it is. On the right we have 40,000. Now we are going to transpose this 5 which is on the left hand side to the right. Here it is division so when it goes to the right it becomes multiplication. So let's leave it there as it is. Now we have 4x is equal to 40,000 into 5. Now we're going to find only the value of x. So let's write that. To find the value of x, we're going to write what we have on the right hand side. This is on the left, this is on the right. We're going to write it as it is. 40,000 into 5. So that will be 40,000 into 5. Now I'm going to move this 4 from the left hand side to the right. If I, when I move it to the right, because it's multiplication here, on the right side it will become division by 4. Now I can cancel 4, 1s are 4 and then all these zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 into 10,000 is 40,000. Now I can multiply my numerators, 5, 1s are 5. And add the four zeros, one, two, three, four. So here we have 50,000. So 50,000 is the value of x. We have found x to be 50,000. And what is x? We said in the beginning, let the original price of the car be x. So we have found the original price of the car and that is 50,000 rupees. So let's write that there. The original price of the car is 50,000 rupees. So this is the first part of the answer. Now we are also asked to find the reduction in price. Now look at the statement. Reduction in price is x by 5. So let's write that here. Reduction in price is x by 5. x divided by 5. And we just found out x to be 50,000. 
So let's write that 50,000 divided by 5. So let's divide it. So that will be 5 ones are 5 here, 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros, 3, 4. So that is 10,000 rupees. So what is our final answer? The reduction in price is 10,000 rupees. So the original price we found out to be 50,000 rupees. This is 50,000 rupees. It has been reduced to 40,000 rupees. So how much was reduced? 10,000 rupees was reduced. This is one way of finding out the reduction in price. Another way is when you subtract the original price and the reduced price. When you subtract these two, you will get the reduction in price, which is 10,000 rupees. Question 6. If the price of an article is increased by 25%, the increase is rupees 10. Find the new price. So the price of an article is not given to us. So let's consider that price to be X. Now, if that is increased by 25%, that means the increase in price is 25% and it's already given to us as 10 rupees. So let's find 25% of X. Now, how do we write that? 25% of x now this is 25 percent means 25 by 100 into x now we can cancel 25 and 100 1 and 25 fours are 100 now multiply the numerators so that's that will be 1 into x which is x and the denominator is 4 so the increase in price is 4 which is all x by 4 which is already given to us as 10 that means x by 4 is equal to 10 now we can find the value of x. So we can say x is equal to 10 into 4. Now how did we get into 4? Now here 4 is on the left hand side and we are transposing it to the right hand side. So division there on the left will now become multiplication on the right. So now we can find the value of x. x is equal to 10 into 4 which is 40. So x is 40. What is x? The price of the article in the beginning. The price of the article, the original price is X and that is 40 rupees which we just found. So let's write it here. That's 40 rupees, the price of the article. Okay, so this is the price of the article. Now we have been asked to find the new price. That means price of the article plus the increase will give us a new price. So let's find the price of the article, the new price. So what is the price of the article? We found just found it out to be 40 rupees. What is the increase in price given to us? It's 10 rupees. 10 plus 40 is 50. So the new price is 50 rupees. Question 7. If the price of an article is reduced by 10%, the reduction is 40 rupees. What is the old price? So here again, we don't know what the old price is. So let's consider the old price to be X. The price of an article, let it be X. Now reduction in price is 10% of X. So 10% of X. So 10% of X means 10 by 100 into X. Here also let's cancel. So we can cancel the zeros here. So what do we have in the numerator? Only 1 into X, which is x and in the denominator we have 10. x by 10 is the reduction in price and here the reduction is given as 40 rupees. That means x by 10 is equal to 40 rupees. So let's write that x by 10 is equal to 40 rupees. So now we can find the value of x. x is equal to 40 into 10. How did we get into 10? On the left hand side 10 is division. Now we are moving it to the right hand side. So now it becomes multiplication. So 40 into 10 is 400. So we have found the value of X to be 400. And what is X? X is the price of the article. The original price or the old price of the article is X and that is 400 rupees. This is our answer. So the old price we've been asked to write. So we will write it as rupees 400. Question 8. The price of a chair is reduced by 
what is the ratio of now there are two questions to answer first one change in price to the old price second one old price to the new price now here as you can see only the percentage is given nothing else is given so in this case let us consider the old price or the original price to be 100 rupees let's consider it to be 100 so in this case we are not taking x instead we are taking 100 because only one is given only one and that is a percentage that's given to us so in this case we'll take 100 rupees as the price of the chair that is the old price now what is the reduction in price 25 percent of this 100 rupees so 25 percent of 100 rupees is the reduction in price so that means 25 by 100 into 100 100 rupees so here we can cancel this 100 and this 100 so what do we have only 25 that means the reduction in price is 25 rupees so this is the change in price so the change in price is 25 rupees now the question is first one we have to find the ratio of change in price to the old price change in price we just now found out to be 25 rupees is to old price we said let's consider it to be 100 rupees so 25 is to 100 so first step is writing it as a fraction then we do ratio writing it as a fraction then we reduce this to the lowest term we can divide both by 25 itself and reduce it to the lowest term so what do we get 25 ones are 25 and 25 fours are 100 so now we have it in the form of a fraction we can write it as a ratio that is 1 is to 4. So this is the ratio of change in price to the old price. Change in price to the old price. The ratio is 1 is to 4. So now the second part. Find the ratio of old price to the new price. So this is the second part. Now what is the old price? We said we'll consider it to be 100 rupees. Now what is the new price? new prices now from the 100 rupees 25 rupees has been reduced so we have to subtract only then we'll get the new price so rupees 100 minus 25 rupees 100 minus 25 is 75 rupees so this is the new price now let's find the ratio of old price to the new price so old price is 100 rupees is to the new price is 75 rupees the so first thing write it as a fraction 100 by 75 now divide both by a common factor in this case it is 25 rupees so divide both by 25 and now we will get the new number 25 fours are 100 and 25 threes are 75 so a fraction is 4 by 3 our ratio will be 4 is to 3 so this is the ratio of old price to the new price so what is our final answer 4 is to 3 Question 9. If x is 20% less than y, so we know x is 20% less than y. Now we have to find these three questions. So here we don't know what y is, but we know that x is 20% less than y. So we are going to consider y to be 100. Remember for percent, we always take 100 as a whole quantity. So now 20% less. So reduction is 20%. That means this will be 20% of 100 isn't it so that is 20 by 100 into 100 so here we cancel so here when you cancel you get only 20 in the numerator so 20 percent of 100 is 20 now x is 20 percent less than y so now we found 20 percent is 20 so x will be y minus 20 so y is 100 we've taken y is 100 y minus 20 means 100 minus 20 which is 80 so x is 80 now we can find the answer to the first question which is x by y so x is 80 and y is 100 so now let's find out this by cancelling now we have 8 by 10 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10 so x by y is 4 by 5 so the first answer x by y will rewrite it x by y is 4 by 5 so this is our first answer question 2 is y minus x by 5 
So that is y we said is 100, x is 80 and divided by y again is 100. So this is 100 minus 80 is 20 and in the denominator we have 100. Now let's cancel what we can. So we'll cancel the zeros 2 and 10. 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. So here what do we have? We have 1 by 5. So the answer to the second part is 1 by 5. So this is the second answer. Third one, we have x by y minus x. Now x we found out to be 80, y we said is 100 and minus x again is 80. So 80 is the numerator. In the denominator, 100 minus 80 is 20. Now we'll cancel. We'll cancel this and this. So now two ones are two and two fours are eight. So the answer to this question is four. So we have found the answer here. This is four. Question 10. If x is 30% more than y, so this time x is 30% more than y, find these three questions. Now here we know what x is. x is 30% more than y. So we don't know what y is. So let's consider y to be 100. Okay, because it's percent, we consider y to be 100. Then 30% of 100. So that is what is given to us, 30%. So we need to find 30% of 100. 30% of 100, how much is it? 30% of 100 means 30 by 100 into 100. Now we can cancel both the hundreds. So what is left is only 30. So 30% 30 of 100 is 30. So now the uh, question is x is 30% more than y. That means x is y plus 30. x is y plus 30. And we said let y be 100. So x is 100 plus 30 which is 130. So now that we know that x is 130, with this we can work out all our questions. Now we know x is 130 and y is 100. So let's work out our first question here. First question is x by y. x is 130 and y is 100. So here we can cancel. Let's cancel the zeros. We have 13 by 10. So that is our answer. We got x by y equals 13 by 10. So this is our first answer. x by y is equal to 13 by 10. Now let's work out the next question. Question 2 which says y plus x. y plus x divided by x. So here y we said is 100 and x we found out to be 130 divided by 130. So this is 100 plus 130 is 230 and in the denominator we have 130. Now let's cancel. We can cancel the zeros. So now what is left? 23 by 13. That means y plus x divided by x. The answer is 23 by 13. This is our final answer. Question 3. Now here we have y by y minus x and y is 100 and y minus x that is y is 100 minus 130. So here we have 100 in the numerator 100 minus 130. So here let's be careful this is a plus sign. One sign is plus and one sign is minus and we know how to work out when signs are different isn't it? When signs are different, we put down the sign of the bigger number. So the bigger number is 130. The sign before that is minus. We put the sign of the bigger number and we subtract. 130 minus 100 is 30. So here we have 100 by third minus 30. So now we can carry our sign to the middle. So that means it's for both. Okay. So now we have minus 100 by 30. Now cancel what we can. I can cancel a 0. So here our final answer will be minus 10 by 3. So the final answer to this third question is minus 10 by 3. So we've got answers to all three questions 1, 2 and 3. Question 11. 
the weight of a machine is 40 kgs by mistake it was weighed as 40.8 kgs find the error percent so there was an error isn't it there was a mistake it is supposed to be 40 but by mistake it was measured as 40.8 so there is an error now we are asked to find that error percent error means mistake so the weight of the machine given to us is 40 kgs the errored weight is 40.8 kgs that means that mistake that slight mistake there is 40.8 kg now we need to first find the error what is the error in the weight how to find that simply by subtracting these two so to find that we just say 40.8 kg minus 40 kg minus 40 kg so let's subtract this so 40.8 minus 40 so this will be subtraction of decimal numbers we've made them like decimals and we do normal subtraction so this is 8 we put the point here 0 minus 0 4 minus 4 0 so what is it it's simply 0 0.8 so the error in weight is 0 0.8 kg so this is the error now we have to find the error percent so to find the error percent what we do is we say the error that is 0 0.8 kg by the weight of the machine which is 40 kg and now we're going to find the percent so we multiply it by 100 percent so now let's work this out so this will be 0 0.8 by 40 into 100 percent we can cancel a zero i can cancel a zero here and a zero here now 0 0.8 into 10 i can do this multiplication 0 0.8 into 10 now when you multiply a decimal number by 10 the point simply moves one place to the right that is if i say 0 0.8 into 10 my point will move one place to the right because there's only one zero so this becomes 8.8 zero or simply eight so this will be eight and in the remainder in the denominator we have four eight by four percent now we just have to divide eight by four so we know four twos are eight so what do we have here two percent so we have found the error percent we have found the error percent which is two so the answer here is two percent so we will stop with this for now children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.